Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. We're into the second year of the 2019 Canadian RPAS regulations, and drone pilots are starting to think about the two-year recency requirement for pilot certificates. And especially, do we have to take that darn exam again? So, <laughs> I could talk about this for an hour, but here's a five-minute explanation that tells you everything you need to know. Let's get into it. First of all, before you ask, this recency stuff applies only to your pilot certification, not to your drone's registration. The registration of your drone is a one-time event. The rules for your pilot certification are different, however. Here it is in a nutshell. Number one, you must complete some sort of recency activity every 24 months after achieving either your basic or advanced pilot certification and you must carry proof of your recency with you while operating your drone. So what counts as a recency activity? Well, you have five options to choose from. And think of it this way. Any one of these activities basically restarts your 24-month recency countdown. Option one is to pass either the basic or advanced RPAS exam. Yes, even if you have your advanced pilot certificate, passing the basic exam again meets the recency requirements. Incredible. Option two, pass a flight review. Well, this sounds like an expensive, stressful, and time-consuming option. However, if you choose this option, your advanced certification is good for another 24 months. Number three, attend a safety seminar endorsed by Transport Canada. These safety seminars can be found by Googling Transport Canada Safety Seminar. At the time of this recording, however, all seminars are cancelled, presumably due to the pandemic. Maybe they'll eventually start doing these online. Option four is to complete an authorized recurrent training program covering five things human factors, environmental factors, route planning, operations near aerodromes or airports, and applicable regulations, rules, and procedures. And yes, certain Don Drones On videos do count. I have a Transport Canada approved recurrent training course. There's a link in the description below. It's a set of videos and a straightforward drone-oriented quiz you can complete in the safety and comfort of your own home in about two hours. This course applies to both basic and advanced certification. When you're done, print off the included recency certificate or load the electronic version into DronePilot Canada. You'll need to pop your own popcorn, but otherwise it's a pretty simple way to meet the requirements. I'm sure other training organizations will also offer recurrent training if you wish to shop around. The fifth option is to complete an authorized Transport Canada self-paced study program designed to cover the same areas as in item four. This is also a fairly simple option, but it's designed for manned aircraft pilots primarily, so it's a bit baffling to get through. Transport Canada publishes a quarterly aviation safety newsletter, and the third issue every year includes one of these self-paced study programs in the form of a quiz. At the time of this recording, they haven't yet published the 2020 version, but the 2019 quiz still works. Just Google Transport Canada Aviation Safety Newsletter and find issue three. In that newsletter, there is a 44 question quiz, plus additional questions for balloonists and ultralights. There's nothing for drone pilots in the 2019 one. That's a lot of questions in the quiz, but each question actually tells you the exact place to find the answer, most of which are in the AIM document, by the way. And if that isn't enough, the answers themselves are spelled out just below the quiz. They're not even upside down like in the crossword puzzles. You just need to keep a dated copy of your completed quiz with you, either in hard copy or soft copy form. So to sum up, your simplest options to retain your pilot recency 
are to either retake the basic exam, watch my recurrent training program videos, or to sit down and fill out the recency quiz in the Aviation Safety Newsletter. None of these options are too painful. Well, there you have it. A simple explanation of the recency requirements for Canadian RPAS pilot certification. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up down below and drop me a comment. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for your time.